What is up guys? It is Zane here and today we are reviewing Rift. So we got a sawtooth, we got a square, we got a triangle, and we got a sine wave and we're gonna test it on all of them. Let's see how it affects it. So basically, wait I'm not even on the right one. <laughs> basically how it affects it is by top and bottom apparently that's the polarity part of it okay let's just test some presets okay so we got some pretty crazy editing so far we got rates what does that mean cyber wait okay never mind that's the preset well, okay so as you can tell like it's doing a lot of distortion it's gonna be doing some crazy stuff let's test it on the, tr the square okay let's go to some growls. I want to see if this thing can do some growls. I like having a little bit of distortion on some things though, so if this can have some pleasing effects. Okay. Now things are getting good. What is happening though? That's the question. A lot. Keep in mind, I also only, my MIDI keyboard only has like two octaves or whatever, so I can't really experiment like with all the levels right now. Alright, so we're gonna test it on the triangle. Okay, we got some pads, here we go, this is more my type of thing. So is there like a delay in here or what? Is there effects? I like these chill distortions though, like... These are definitely nice, especially since it's such a clean sound, you know? So when you're distorting it, it's like the premium clarity effect. <laughs> Now let's test it on the sine wave. So this is like the main thing, I guess, that I'm hoping for it to sound good on, right? Because this is what all most basses are made out of. Is this sine wave, right? Most of the time. Let's go with, okay, there's a lot. There's a lot of presets here, so we're gonna test it on some other stuff, but for now, I want to really see if this can make some crazy growls. Let me start testing some knobs. Um. So you can make automations it looks like. So you can get some pretty cool effects for sure, but it is a distortion mainly, it's not like some super melodic necessarily like ambient type stuff. Hopefully you 
guys enjoyed this little review. I think it's a really cool plugin for distortions at least. Comment down any, you know, interesting plugins coming out or anything that has already came out that you guys like. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good life. I will see you guys later.